Hello everyone, this is Fujiwara Leo. The plugin I'm going to introduce you today is the clone of EH Baseball plugin. So let's have a look at the uh, block diagram first. The plugin has two modes, the normal mode and the advanced mode. The diagram I show here is the diagram of the advanced mode. I will uh, explain what's, uh, what's the difference between these two. So in advanced mode, the signal will go through. We can uh, choose whether it to be distort or not, distortion or not, and then it will go through two more low pass filter, uh, uh, and the output of the two more low pass filter be summed, and we can choose it whether it goes through a rain LFO, the low frequency oscillator or not. This part is not inside in the original design. I add this part just for fun. And the cutoff frequency of these two Morg low pass filter is determined by the system here. Here we have a envelope detector here to detect the input signal level. And based on that level, we calculate the cutoff frequency and the Q value for both of the Mog low pass filter. Uh, one thing I need to mention here is one of the cutoff uh, cutoff frequency is n times the other. So the f the two low pass filter will shift uh, uh, by a little amount by amount and have the overall effect. And for the normal mode, the user will control the Q value here. So in the normal mode, the Q will not be calculated based on the uh, envelope detector here, but it's controlled by the user. So the user will uh, set a static value of the Q for both the mo uh, mock low pass filter. So let's load the plugin here. And to show the distortion is working, I use the I will show you the oscilloscope and the oscillator here. So as you can see, the distortion function is working here. And let's let's have a let's play around in the normal mode here to hear the effect. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. We enable the distortion and the uh, LFO here. So actually, the effect we hear here uh, is actually the two mock low pass filter is chasing the input level detect by the uh, envelope detector so it's chase the level and move back and forth to he uh to uh, generate the wheel wheel the, the effect you just hear so one thing you need to mention is if you if the user set the Q to be 9.8 in the normal mode, the two Moog low pass filter will be self isolated and we you will hear some uh, sine wave like tone. Uh, I will show you. <laughs> So that is the sine wave tone I uh, I talked about, and let's increase the 
input a little bit and uh, engage the advanced mode. So in advanced mode, we will lost the control to the queue here and because the queue will calculate it based on the envelope detector. So, uh, and the calculate uh, the calculation will related to the threshold here. The, so the threshold will con uh, will control the normalized control voltage here. Uh, the uh, the threshold will uh, control the normalized voltage control as in the real uh, analog plug-in. So uh, when uh, so we can just move the single knob here and we can change both the cutoff frequency and the Q for the two low pass filter. <laughs> So if we enable the FO here. cool huh um that's pretty much everything i want to introduce this time uh we will see you next time thank you for your watching